This video is a continuation of getting to know air pages. In the previous video, we learned how to create your own air page. Now we're going to see how to upload the page you've created onto your Digifly Air. To begin with, you open Air Pages on your computer and you either use the page you have already created or you open a page that you have on file. I click open, it takes me automatically to the pages file on the Digifly archives. I click on my personal file and here I have page 3 example, the page we created previously. I select this page and I ask the computer to open it. This is standard procedure on any computer on how to open files. Here we have the page we created previously. Now on my Digifly, this is the page that I have right now, which is the standard page that comes with the instrument. I am going to go to Menu, and the first thing I need to do is to go to Air Tools and tell the Digifly Air that it's going to talk to communicate via USB link. So I press OK. Now that the link USB message is blinking, I am ready to upload my page. I set my GPS dump down. Then I go into the other tab, which is Page Uploader. I make sure that the com is on auto search, even though once your computer sets a port for your Digifly, it'll always go to it, but we prefer to go to auto search, which just makes it easier. Then you set page. You tell Air Pages on which page out of the 12 pages you can personalize to upload the data you are sending. In this case, we go down to page number three, Start Gate Thermal. And then you just hit Start. And you see how the Digifly Air Pages looks for the instrument. It connects us to the comp. It's working. It says do not disconnect the device. And then it says page upload finished. And now it is done very quickly like you see. Now we go back to the Digifly Air. You exit the Air Tools menu. And you go back to the main menu and you go to main setup. And here, well, let's take a look at what the page looks like. This is the standard page three. When I go into menu and I go into main setup, scroll down, press OK. Now I scroll up because I will find the pages on the end of this menu so it's faster. I go to page three. You can see how it's on the standard mode. I select it by pressing OK. I scroll up and I find user. That means it'll portray the page I have saved as my user page. I exit because it is the autosave function. This means I exit and I save my selection automatically. I now go back to the pages and there it is the page that I have created. Let's take a look at the page. This is the page that I created here and that now is here. You will see the arrow and the name of the waypoint are missing and that is because I am not really flying right now. And there you go. This is how you upload a page you created onto your Digifly Air. Remember, you can read the manual that is on our website www.digiflyusa.com or send us questions at flydigifly at gmail.com.